that is, that, that is the, and he moves away. That cat is more famous than me by mm-hmm. now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everyone in Kenya knows the cat. Look, another one. Yeah. You know, nice younger, my friend. And you see, this is huge. This is not a small thing. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Like that. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. I am Dennis the National, and today I have a special guest with me. So I am going to interview him about his journey, a bodybuilding journey, and how he, he 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 went viral and is now trending in Kenya. You know, everyone is talking about Ugaliman. Everyone is making videos about Ugaliman and Ugaliman challenge. There is no one who doesn't know about Ugaliman right now in Kenya. So guys, I am going to interview him, talk about his journey. You know how he started and everything to the point where now he is trending in Kenya and like you guys have seen I always do inspiring inspiration videos uh, I do two types of contents that is travel construction and showing the beauty the beautiful sides of Kenya and my other content is inspiration videos whereby I just want to inspire the youths of Kenya and Africa to tell them that it doesn't matter how long if you keep doing it and if you never give up one day it will work out you know that is the story I want to talk to him about today. Uh, then later, sooner or later, we will eat, as you can see, there are food here already. So sooner or later, he will eat Ugali. You will see why they call him Ugali man. Yeah, and also, this is his gym. Uh, we will talk about his journey as a bodybuilder and as a gym instructor. So, Charles. Yes, my name. Uh, you have been trending around in Kenya, but <coughs> for me, kuna kitumoja like, Iliniguza kwa sababu wakati I was watching your YouTube videos niliona one of your vid- one, of, one of your videos on YouTube was posted 8 years ago so tell me ulianza YouTube hivyo kitambo yes 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 i started posting on YouTube that is way back uh, actually that is uh, 2013 2013 uh, 2012 2013 between there Wow. That's when I started uh, doing videos on YouTube and my main aim on doing the videos on YouTube actually was not even to maybe trend I didn't know whether I will trend or what mm-hmm. but I also wanted as you also been watching the video you see yeah. it features mostly on fitness and so I wanted and bodybuilding so I wanted to create an awareness to the community and people yeah. something about keeping fit that is what nowadays we want to because I understand a healthy nation is a strong nation and health is wealth though so this is what I wanted to share with the people and that is what motivated me to start also doing these videos not only to reach people around me but people who are even million kilometers away from me I can tell you for sure you have reached so many people when you went viral in Kenya because everyone now talks about Ugali man you know and you inspire so many people imagine guys he started YouTube he started pot- posting videos on YouTube eight years ago if you go to his YouTube channel you will see that the guy started posting the first videos eight years ago imagine where uh, some youtubers they start YouTube and they think they are going to start getting paid two months later you know they don't have patience they don't have like they don't have that urge to go and do it and do it until it works out you know they just want like if they start it and it starts paying immediately and it doesn't work that way you know you have to give you the even if it's business you know when you start it you have to be patient you have to go through all the troubles that goes with starting a business before you can earn any profit eh come on namnagani it's true it's true okay so tell me about your video how did you how did it trend what happened uh, actually, I remember very, very well that day. Yeah. It was a normal day to me. Did my workout. Yeah. Woke up early morning, did my workout. Yeah. And of course, I had to eat. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, cooked the food. Mama cooked the food. Mm. Placed it on the table for me. Mm. And um, just like I always want to share things with the people. You know, I posted it just to show people, hey, guys, me are meeting today, this and this. What guys have you eaten? Actually, that is what I had posted on my WhatsApp group. Mm. Uh, and also on uh, um, on, on my uh, Facebook. Facebook account, yeah. but literally did I know that that video would mm. trend. Yeah, it was so funny to people. People just liked it. Mm. I saw it being posted in bigger uh, platforms. Yeah, and um, that is how it went. And I was Robert Alaya. exactly Robert Alai had posted it, and that is how it went viral. And I was called a, a, a week after that. Yeah. yeah, guys just came and called me. You know, man blah 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 you're trending and this and this and we want you to do this with us and that is how it went so before from the time you started posting these videos on youtube or even on your social media yes to eight years later how many like 
you have done so many videos in between yeah a hundred more than a hundred i can say more than 200 videos yeah yeah since i started and no posting. one noticed Hakuna no 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 ilikuwa tu unapost some of the videos views. yeah some of the videos you even find them i've done them in that period of 8 years and yeah. i've never even gotten a single view no view wow. just no view but the yeah. videos there and has got like a six years seven years and that or two years now guys can you imagine this is what i always tell you guys you never give up because you never know when the time is going to be right you know imagine the guy had been posting videos for all that eight years that is the point i want you guys to take eight good years he was posting videos he was putting videos online about bodybuilding and stuff the thing he loved his passion for eight good years sorry for that so he was posting videos about what he loves for eight good years then boom his success came and his time came you know when your time is right your time is right so guys you, you, there's a previous video i've done about uh, building my mom a, a home in the village uh, I'll, I'll put the link to that video in the description below um i just decided like i want to build my mom that house and i want to give her as a gift because for her she believed on my youtube journey when i started uh, and also there were times in life that it was so low for me you know remember there was a time i was a street kid in kisumu for for one week and the only person who st who stick who stick with me during those hard times was my mom and when i started youtube she still believed in me so for for that video i'll put it in the link in the in the description below so you can watch it otherwise these are the kind of inspirational videos i want to show you guys so with galiman here sorry for that with ugali man here today we have food so he is going to eat so muone venye anafinyanga ugali msiseme oh nini 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 so we have food here he is going to kufinyanga yeah mm. so this is ugali and kumanga kudema okay actually yeah, i prepared uh, my wife had prepared me this um, boiled bone soup yeah you can see this is a boiled nice prepared with nyanya a little bit of chili you see dania Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. Yes, exactly. In fact, I should also just put it uh, yeah. on the plate, eh? Yeah. To be seen, eh? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. So, oh, yes, let me pour it on the plate. Oh, wow, 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 you see? You have to eat yeah, to be healthy. <laughs> yes. A eating nation is a strong nation. Then also, Ugali. Ugali was a little bit uh, kidogo, yeah. but I boosted it with uh, some chapati, chapati. jana ilibaki, yeah. so that I reached my, uh, my capacity or the full dose of my my eating yeah. you see yeah. yeah oh what are they must be oh i should be watching my hands yes yeah. yeah. i'll so do I the eat. honors good thank you mm, just pour it it's guys okay. just pour it just pour. Uh, i i don't think i am it's okay. i am just pour it's okay watch me i'm qualified to wash his hands because this guy is famous all over kenya <laughs> oh this is now good uh, this is awesome 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 yeah awesome 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 wow oh you prayed for the food no, yeah, yeah. Ready. yeah. Oh, just the food is blessed already. And you see, uh, yeah. Dennis, eh? yeah. Ugali yeah. is the most important meal because yeah. it's carbohydrate, the primary source of energy to our body. Yeah, it's it falls good. under carbohydrates. Yeah. Very important, very important. Yeah. So this is step number one. Yeah. You just pinch it, yeah. shape it, yeah. and now you bless it a little bit. Yeah. Just throw, hey. spunk, <laughs> then make a hole a ditch mm. to scoop the soup oh my god guys look mm. at this man mm. the way he is eating mm. like you feel like mm. you feel like push 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 and the cat is always there <laughs> push, the push, push, always push 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 is not around mm. today push 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 Post, post, post. Oh man. Yeah, he's here. Ah, the the cat is here, guys. Yeah, post, 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 post. Post, post, post. Do you go? Hmm. The legendary post, post. cat. Post, 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 post. Bring it here. Just pick it up. Post, post. Bring it up here. Yeah. Mm. Hit, hit, hit. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He got his portion. That is, that, that is the. And he moves the, away. That, that cat is more famous than me by mm -hmm. now. <laughs> mm. Everyone mm -hmm. in Kenya knows the cat. Look, another one. Yeah. You know, nice younger, my friend. And you see, this is huge. This is not a small thing. 
Oh yes, Hallelujah. like that. <laughs> then you do this. Oh yes, I. Mm. <laughs> so mm. ugali helps a lot with bodybuilding. It's an energy giving body uh, mm, food. food. Yeah. Actually, it's what you really need. A bigger portion of it. If you are doing bodybuilding, yeah. You are supposed to consume sixty-five percent of carbohydrates. Yeah. Then you see fifteen percent protein, yeah. and the rest now could come to vitamins and all that. But now you see. The bigger portion of that meal should have lots of calories, 65%. So that means ugali ni lazima. Kofinya. Kofinya. Mm. <laughs> so mm. tell me about yes. your bodybuilding journey. Uh, um, it has not been so smooth. Yeah. Actually, um, bodybuilding is the most expensive sport. Considering, you know, it, uh, the, uh, it entails more of also eating well. I know this uh, to maintain this uh, 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 habit of eating well. Yeah. There must be no uh, good money. I know during those days there was no money for now trending, and you see that eh? yeah. that was a bigger challenge. Now food and nutrition yeah. was a bigger, bigger challenge. Yeah. Mm. Remember, they know mm. uh, in fitness. Yes. Eighty percent of your fitness is on nutrition. How much you eat and the food you eat. Uh, portion. You know, at a good time. Then you can imagine twenty percent is just exercise. Exercise is less so little. So much more keenness on what you eat is. There is a say they say, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. Mm. So more concentration goes on the food you eat. Exactly. Yeah. If you eat burgers, mm. you can you, you can produce a bigger muscle. So good muscles we are eating burgers. Yeah. It really needs good eating. So body all bodybuilders, all bodybuilders, diet. Meskia, if mm. you want to build muscle. Please concentrate on the food you are eating. Mm -hmm. Make sure no kula vizuri, eh? Just eat, eh. balanced diet. Eh. Follow the entire um, guidelines on nutrition. Yeah. And there you go. You'll be able to junk, you know, no chunk more muscles and better eh. good ones. So even if you appear in a competition, yeah. good, you can get the good positions you want. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. you don't I, exercise more and no food, no. Mm. I see these things like you have made them using tires. You see, this is very creative, and this is what I always tell people on my channel. You know, it doesn't matter what you have or what you don't have. I still tell you people, I still use my phone to edit the videos. I don't have a laptop, but that doesn't stop me or it doesn't it doesn't become an impediment in my journey. If I want to do this, I must do this. The guy uses uh, motorbike and bicycle tires to make these. These, what do you call this? Mm -hmm. the, the weights, plated yeah. weights. The, the, mm. Now they are rubber, rubber coated weight. Yeah. Mm. So the guy uses motorbike tires, he does concrete in them, and then you have the weights, you know? That Correct. is very creative. Kama uh, angengoja suke nyatapata pesa nyingi ya nundue hizo za chuma za aduka nini, ange wai kuwa na gym. True, true. Ange wai kuwa na gym. It's true. So if you want to start something, use what you have and be creative, you know? You can have if you want. So if you want to start something, a business or anything, use what you have, be creative, eh? True. Now, if you want to use a gym, muscle, please concentrate on ugali, eh? And protein. Protein and vitamins as well. Yeah. And vegetables, fruits, and yeah. water also your body really needs it for digestion. Yeah. Is there any time you ever felt like you wanted to give up? Mm, so many times. Especially, you see now, balancing fitness with uh, uh, with the parenthood, eh? Yeah. It's a bit challenging. Yes. You have kids who also need food on the table. Yeah. You too also, you need also to concentrate with fitness. Mm. That will mean there is fitness and again you have to move out to go and uh, you look for the money. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, will true. cater for these kids. Yeah. So it's find it's a bit challenging, especially when you during those days I was just employed, I was just a yeah. Kibarua guy. Yeah. Now you see um you have sometimes to skip working out to go work and get food for the kids. And again there is a competition ahead waiting for you. So that would mean if you skip some days without working out, yeah, the result might also come ogwash, not yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, sometimes there is a challenging and you give, sometimes you want to give up. Yeah. But anyway, I've got a discipline of when I want to give up, I always know that is when I want to maximize on myself. Yeah, when yeah, times yeah. comes rough, yeah. I don't just give up. I just try whatever little, if I've been applying uh, like 60% uh, uh, of my effort, but mm. now simply because problem has befallen me, mm. it doesn't mean that I will totally stop. I'll just even yeah. try to apply 10% of the effort. Yeah. And just that to is keep how. going. Exactly. So that you don't give up at all. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And they always say when things get too hard 
it's at that point that your success is just behind the corner, you know. I've witnessed it, me, yeah. myself, yeah. yeah. Like they say, it gets darkest when it's all. Push, 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 come this side, there's another one, come up. Push, push, push. Let me put you ugali kidogo with soup. Guys, the cut is as important as mm. ugali man. <laughs> let push, push, push. Let you push, 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 push. This side. Oh, yeah. Eat, eat, eat. Wow, so tell me, have you ever been in a bodybuilding competition? Many times, and I've never, I've never won anything. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Preparation. Mm -hmm. It's also very important. Yeah. So you find yourself, mm -hmm. um, you are not fully prepared due to financial constraint. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So that will also affect your, 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 how you gain the muscle and build them. So when you go to the com um, competition, mm. the judges will only be able to see those who fully prepare themselves, their muscles yeah. will always emerge be better to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you, it will always tell. Yeah. If you are not fully prepared, the muscles will not be in a, in a proportion that is, was needed or in a picture that was needed to be. And that's how these judges criteria they use. Mm. You find yourself, some are better than you. But mostly, a challenge to any bodybuilder normally is, is meal, huh? food. It's a bigger challenge. I actually, Money to buy the food, all that. You see, you have to miss some of the uh, days for workout, go to work mm -hmm. so that you, you make money. And when you miss a session of a workout, it really affects you in a bigger way. Yeah, yeah. Out of you are losing. Yeah. yeah, you are losing. For example, if you are supposed to do a six week program, yeah. then three weeks you're out. Yeah. Three weeks you did it. You can never be equal to somebody who has gone entire six weeks program. That is true. Yeah, correct. So guys, I actually understand what he's trying to say, you know, because sometimes your yeah, financial challenges are always there. Uh, and someone like me, like I told you, I was a straight kid for one week in Kisumu. I understand when you don't have money and you have nothing to eat, you know, or, or you just want to do something and you are not financially, you know, you don't have the financial capacity to do it. Sometimes it can suck, you know. But after all, we keep going and look, he's, a, he, he's not trending the whole of Kenya. In the whole of Kenya, everyone knows Ugaliman, you know. He lost all those build, build, bodybuilding challenges because he didn't have enough money or he wasn't financially stable. But still, he's famous in the whole country right now. He's trending, you know. And right now he's in a better position than he was before. So it's a good thing to never give up, you know. Keep doing what you love. And the guy was creative because as far as he was doing bodybuilding, he still tried to find a way to post the videos online, you know. So that I can say was very really creative because some people just do bodybuilding and that's it. They don't want to do anything out outside. They, as in, they don't want to do anything outside of what they are doing. They limit themselves to this box where they just want to exist there. The same way with many, many youths in Kenya. Someone gets employed, they get push, stuck push, there. Push, push, push. You know? Chichi, push, 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 push. They get stuck there, they don't want to like even invest or save or do something creative with their part time with the with the other time they are not uh, they are not working, so it keeps you limited. So always think outside the box, always be creative, you know. Yeah. So guys please like this video, like, 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 share, you know, let's get the most views this country has never seen before. So share anywhere, you know. Uh guys this has been a nice interview. This is Ugaliman, the legend himself. And today, Our Usiwai Tishwa. Yeah, Usiwai Tishwa. Umu Dunyani. Usiwai Tishwa. If you are with Ugaliman, Usiwai Tishwa. In fact, say, I'm protected. Mwezi niambia kitu, wata yini hapo YouTube. Say, mwezi niambia kitu, yeah? So, comment any question you have about him. For now, we are friends, so I'll be meeting him once in a while. I can ask him later. We can do more things. So any question, anything you have, comment in the comments below, like if you are new, subscribe. This channel is about empowering the youth and also about changing the African narrative, you know, changing the face of Kenya to the world, how the world sees Kenya. And I'm just a ghetto boy, you know. I come from Rongai, he comes from Rongai, by the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Season not represent Ronga here. Yeah? 125. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there is another girl also who has been trading from Ongata Ronga. She is called Morgan Tasha. Yeah, I would like to meet her one day, maybe do an interview. I like her skits on on TikTok. And she has been trending lately. So, Morgan Tasha, if you're watching this, big up. Good work, you know. 
sisi ndo tuna represent Rongai and we want to take Rongai to the world. True. Yeah. Power equal. Eh, yeah, power. 125. Pawa iko. Usiwai tisho mu duniani. Usiwai tisho bana. Usiwai tisho. Safara ni ya mamba si ya maburukenge. Usiwai tisho. Usiwai. Usiwai tisho. Ndio hiyo. Pawa iko. Pawa iko na kula nyama, na kula chapati, ugali, unaweka pawa. Ala. Na imeisha isha kimchezo. Na imeisha. Tiweza kimchezo tu. Mm. It's been a nice So if I want to be like you kuunga mm-hmm. hivi ni kwa na muscle naona wewe mm-hmm. ni mimi ni one gb shida nyingi eh mm-hmm. if i want to niunge to be like you mm-hmm. muscles and stuff mm-hmm. how long do i have to train one one thing i would advise you eh yeah. consistency consistency is the point number one. it's key you cannot build a muscle by training today tomorrow you skip I come the other day the other day you skip no in a week if you can avail yourself Five days or six days in a week. That yes. would be nice. Then now result expects to see result after um, six to twelve of weeks. Six will be okay. Days. Yeah. Nda kuwa Consistency. Are accompanied with good nutrition. Yeah. You're good to go. Usiwai tishwa. Maso zina bubujika tu kwa mwili. Guys, munipe tu, munipe tu like, munipe like inaitwaje? Unasema 6 to 12 weeks. Yes. Eh, munipe 6 to 12 weeks. Mtawana ndio kuwa na nguvu eh. Utawai. Pili mingi mzuri. Oh, you eat a lot of pepper. I like you so much. So guys, I would like to show you around his gym kidogo, you know? So guys, this is his gym, you know. This is where it all started. And this is amazing guys what people can do with the with being with being creative, you know. This is amazing, man. He makes all these things himself. He doesn't have to buy. Huh? Now where where you are there you want to start a business, you are like I don't have capital, I don't have anything to start with. Huh? Una dai cut ni bodybuilding cut, huh? Inafai kule mzuri, power iko. So, eh, see what issue ah. Eh? Look at this man. No, no, do clearly power iko. This are as a result of doing good exercise, eh, being disciplined. Na kukula ugali vizuri. Eh? So guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always tuning in on my channel. Oh, cameraman, alafu kuje. Thank you for always tuning in on my channel. Thank you for always supporting me like I said. There are my previous videos I've done that can inspire you even more than this. I've done I do all construction videos in Nairobi, roads development in Kenya. I've even done cities like Kisumu, Mombasa, Nairobi, a little bit of Nakuru and Eldoret too you can watch. Actually, I was born and raised in Eldoret. So but right now Rongai in the home eh? we are representing Rongai so guys I want to introduce my cameraman because he's doing a good job and he's also a YouTuber so yeah. you can introduce yourself guys Hello guys my mm. name is Ushual mm. Valentin KE mm. at YouTube mm. we are so, we are to number 45 mm. just have a look we are to number 45 just look look at this height mm. huh? I'm like six feet tall. Yeah. So you, you, you just know the kind of tall people like mm. they do wear big shoes. You know this American height. So yeah. shoes is number forty-five. Mm. Favorite dish? Mm. Chapati. Mm. And uh, buta. Buta. Mm. Chapati and buta. Yeah. The second dish is. Mm. Ugali and samaki because yeah. I'm from the Lake region. I'm Lake. a true Luo. Hey, so don't I say. I, I no, must say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Ugali is thing for Luos. Mm. Yeah. Be so you check out on my camera on Oh, I'll, I'll put his YouTube channel on the yeah. description below. Yeah. So like I was saying I've done even Nairobi Expressway roads you can watch those on my channel. And also support I'll, me guys, you know. I'll be also coming to do some workout hey, hey, exercise. Eh, hey, ukwe power ikwe iko eh. Let me try this. Ndo asiwai tishwa. Let me try this. Mm. Ah. Mm. Oh. Power. Power. <laughs> hey, power iko. So guys, like I said, I'm trying to finish that house for my mama's a gift. So you, you can go watch that video. It will it will help me a lot. You can support me in any way you can. Because I love my mom so much. She was with me in my darkest periods of my life and forever I'll be grateful for her and 
She's the one who has inspired me to do YouTube and I will never give up as far as she's still alive. I'll, I'll, I'll always try to do everything I can for her. Otherwise, thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing, commenting. And for those who started with me when I had zero subscribers to this period, big up, man. My Kenyans from diaspora, big up, guys. Thank you, guys, and see you later, guys. Oh, hey, do you have any closing remarks? Any advice to youths in Kenya? Right. Uh, guys, fellow Kenyans, youth men, you see, in this life, there is only one thing that can make you get out of the shit. That is, if you will always have what we call a, a, a zeal, a burning zeal. You see, laced with that willpower to do something is equal to success. Don't tire up. Anything you're starting, start from the scratch, build from there. Love it and try to do it with wholeheartedness. Jitole Mwanga. And believe you not, I'm telling you, mm. there is always a good thing or something good at the end of a tunnel. Power iko. Mswaitishwa. Galiman. Guys, thank you. Thank you, guys. It's, it's over for us here, guys. See you next time in the next video.